Hello YouTubers, my name is X Factor, and welcome to the Battlefield Hardline Multiplayer Beta, which just so happens to be an open beta sign-up if you're on the PC or PS4. Please see the link in the description if you want to sign up and get your shot at playing some Hardline Multiplayer Beta. But today we're going to be talking about the AKM versus the M16A3, two of the three assault rifles available for the Operator, also known as the Medic Class, and they both can be beastly but they are both different from one another as I'm taking a ton of fire from multiple angles. The way Hardline works is you're allowed to use cash, which is earned by in-game experience, to buy attachments, optics. But the problem is you need service stars to be able to access some of those slots. So once you start grinding out a weapon like the AKM, you'll first gain access to the optics very quickly through your first couple of service stars. And then you'll get in a barrel attachment. And then once you get to 10 service stars, you'll get the under barrel attachment, which I don't have just yet. So this has a flash hider, coyote optic, and extended mags, which I do have, which is a big help, even though this reloads extremely fast. So what would I put on the back end of this? Since it has a ton of vertical recoil and its strength is burst firing, or even tap firing, I would start off with the angled grip. Why would I use the AKM if it has such a strong vertical recoil and it's a beast to tame? Because it hits like a ton of bricks. It's absolutely insane. And the way this game works is there's not a ton of deviation or spread. You can get away with rounds of four to seven. High DPS dropping your targets even if you're late to the party like I was in that last exchange I still was able to get the kill and planning on somebody having survivalist shoot the guy just for good measure sticking with the AKM it's always best to seek cover cover your reloads try to stand perfectly still with any weapon in this game because that's when you're gonna have the best accuracy if you start strafing around you're gonna start adding spread and that is not good especially when a weapon has this much recoil of course you can see some of the horizontal recoil kick in but it's not that bad up close give him an extra couple to the dome piece and on we go at the end of the day the AKM packs a hell of a punch as long as you can counter the recoil and if you're out in the open like this in some of these longer uh, lanes it can become somewhat troublesome but as long as you have some cover to play behind take a quick peek and get your shots that you need you should be able to successfully take down the bad guys. And again, my suggestion here is angled grip to calm down that first shot multiplier. You can go stubby, but this isn't a weapon that you're really going to want to burst in large increments. You're going to want to stay with those smaller patterns. So if this is too much for you, what should you use? What can you use? That's right, the M16A3 is back and it shoots roughly 800 rounds a minute. The AKM says it shoots 900, but it clearly does not. It's probably someplace in the range of 650 to 700 or so. So it rewards the accuracy. The M16A3 with its lightning fast reloads is a beast up close and at medium. As I'm trying to get this thing disarmed, holding E, and shooting at somebody the wonderful thing about the m16a3 is there's not a lot of vertical recoil it is very very low and this weapon i've got my stubby grip giving me just a little bit of bonus for that automatic fire 15 percent so as i'm giving those longer bursts it's not deviating as much and there i try to get to cover stop then pop and then shoot i would have been strafing up there i've been lengthening my time to kill on the bad guy and that is a survivalist. See him laying on the ground kind of funky? Give him a couple extra shots. Make sure he's down. And there's the burst firing that you can get with the M16A3. The optic isn't jumping all over the place. It's a light counter, a light pull down, but you can stay extremely accurate. Expect yourself to shoot much, much higher accuracy with the M16A3 at close, medium, and long range. But it simply does less damage. And it can get you in trouble with that horizontal recoil at the longer ranges. What's that? A bolt action's taking a look at you? Just give them a couple bursts while standing perfectly still. The other thing that we kind of touched on with the M16A3 is the lightning fast reload. So with the extended mag as I get pushed off by a teammate, it comes in handy as you're burning through that 41 and you're just hungry for more. As I'm trying to push this case, this package, 
towards get it, get it, get it. one of the points. So how should you outfit your M16A3? Of course, that is up to you. But since this has a lot less vertical recoil, you can get away with something like the potato or the stubby grip or even ergo grip if you find yourself running and gunning and being stuck in a hip fire position and quickly going to ADS in very close quarter fights. Angle grip really isn't needed. You could also do something like the heavy barrel, but I prefer the flash hider, which isn't on this just yet because I forgot to purchase it. The gun is plenty accurate at medium and long range, and I don't feel like I need to add added recoil to the M16A3. So which weapon is better? If you can control the recoil, the AKM is an absolute beast. It can kill people almost instantaneously, especially if you get a single headshot in. It doubles that damage. It doesn't have the highest rate of fire, but slow and steady usually wins the race. But if there's hordes of people, you need a faster rate of fire, the M16A3 is an absolute workhorse at close, medium, and can even be beastly at longer ranges as long as you're burst firing and tap firing properly. Of course, the fundamentals will always help every gun behave just a little bit better. Don't try to be strafing and shooting if you're not taking fire. Do strafe and shoot if you are taking fire but try to stop and pop as often as possible to get the max accuracy and don't try to go full auto at any point in time unless the players are point blank. That's asking for added spread, also known as deviation, which will simply get you killed. As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and you let me know which one you like better in Battlefield Hardlight, the AKM or the M16A3.